Hello and welcome to 2-Minute Design, I'm Dage and today we're gonna look at ways to either extend or shrink the canvas size. I've opened this JPEG file in Photoshop and if I go to image, image size, I can see that the dimensions are 140 by 105 centimeters. Now if I make sure this link is broken, so the width and height are not linked together, and then type in 40 and 90, Look what happens. The whole photo has been squeezed to fit in the new dimensions. And this is definitely not what I want. So instead, let's go to Image, Canvas Size. Shortcut is Alt, Control, C or Option, Command, C. Here it is showing me the current width and height values and the new values that I want to set. You can check relative if you want to add or subtract a specific number, but I will leave it unchecked for now and type in 40 and 90. The anchor section specifies from which side the new canvas will start. Left, right, top, bottom, from the corners, or if you leave it like that, it will start from the center. Hit OK, hit proceed, and everything seems to be fine. However, if I want to expand the canvas size to let's say 50 by 100, weird things start happening. And I don't like it when weird things start to happen. I just, I, I just, I don't, I just, I just. As you can see, a white background appeared out of nowhere. That's because one, I have white as my background color. And two, in the canvas size dialog box, I have set the canvas extension color to the background color, which is now white. Now I can click this drop down menu and choose the color I want. But what if I don't want any color? I just want the cropped off pixels from my photo to reappear. Is that too much to ask? Is it? Well, let's hit Ctrl or Command Z a couple of times. And before you do anything to the canvas, go to the Layers panel and click this icon next to the layer to unlock it. Now if I shrink the canvas size and then expand it, The original photo is still there. Duh! By the way, you can also use the crop tool to control the canvas size. You can actually type in the width and height values here, set the aspect ratio, and make sure delete cropped pixels is unchecked if you want the original photo to remain intact. 